Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Journey Today Show. My name is Camille. And I'm Dr. David Stein. Dr. David Stein? What in the world are you doing, David? I've attached wires to this marshmallow bunny. When I flip the switch, electricity will fill his body and he'll come alive! <laughs> oh boy, this seems like a bad idea. Prepare to be amazed. Get ready, get set, and go! He's alive! Alive! Do you hear me? Actually, he's a big pile of marshmallow fluff. <sighs> well, that didn't work out how I imagined it. Yeah, it's not easy bringing someone to life, especially if that someone is made of marshmallow. Yeah, well, you know what they say, though. If at first you don't succeed, put try, the melted try. remains of your failure on a cracker with chocolate and eat it. Wait, first of all, that's not mm. a saying. And second, just oh. a minute ago, you were trying to bring him to life and now you're eating him? It's what he would have wanted. That's really strange, but you know what? In an odd way, this shows how amazing our Bible story for today is. We might not be able to bring people or marshmallow bunnies to life, but God can. In fact, that's what happened on the very first Easter. God brought a marshmallow bunny to life on Easter? No, he brought a person back to life. Jesus. Oh yeah, that's right. In the last episode, we heard how Jesus was killed on a cross because he said he was the son of God, but some people didn't believe him. Yeah, but three days later, God proved that Jesus was his son by raising him from the dead. You know what? It's such an awesome story. I think we should read it for ourselves. So let's do this. In just a second, open your Bible and read the verses on the screen. When you're finished, Press play and we'll see you back here. Hey everybody, welcome back. Isn't that incredible? For three days, Jesus had been dead and lying in a dark tomb. That's right, but death has no power over Jesus. And early on the first Easter morning, God raised him up. In fact, I wanna show you what I mean. But first, I think we need to do something. Like what? Please don't tell me you're going to electrocute another marshmallow bunny. No, 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 no marshmallow bunnies this time. Instead, I think we should play a game of Sink or Float. Okay, that sounds like a much better idea. For sure, all right. Here's how this challenge works. Cool. It totally was. Here's what's going to happen now. I'm gonna drop some different items into this container of water. But first, you have to tell me if you think that item is going to sink or float. And here's the best part. Everybody watching at church or at home can play along. When I show you an object, shout out if you think it will sink or float. Are you ready? Bring it on. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Let's start with this big matchbox car. Sink or float? Ooh, float. Really, I yeah. say sink. Okay, right. you guys ready to see this? Here we go. Uh, oh, totally sink. Yeah, all right, totally. all right. The next one is mad scientist goggles. Sink or float? Oh, I'm gonna go float again, I think. I'm gonna go float too. Okay. I think float, here right, we go, ready? Oh, oh, no way, they sank. I really didn't expect I that I seriously one. am so wow. surprised. Oh my goodness. These things are so light. I think I they're made know. out of plastic. Oh, that's so weird. Yeah, okay, crazy. let's do another okay. one. All right. A can of Frisky's cat food. Let me feel it. Yeah. Sink. I think sink too. Yeah. Yeah, all right, here we go. What? No way! 
Oh, oh yeah. man! Oh my gosh! I am so surprised once again. Okay, it's right. floating. We were wrong again. All right, here's the next one. An apple. That's definitely float. Yeah, I say float. All right, let's give it a try. And... Hey. Yeah! It's Whoa. floating, it's floating. I don't know about this one. It's a can of Nutella, which yeah, is kind of tough. like uh, chocolate peanut butter. Yeah. So what do you think? I think it's kind of heavy. I'm going to say sink. I'm going to say float, Ooh. but I don't know. I'm taking a risk on that All one. Right. All right, here we go. Ready? Oh! oh! Did you see that? that it started to come up. I thought it was going to float, and Me then it too. went back down. Wow. It, it sank. It sank. OK. OK, I have one left. It's an egg. What do you think, sink or float? I'm going to say float. Ooh, good guess. I'm going to say sink. All right. So let's find out. Whoa. Sink. Right away. Oh, man, that one was kind of hard to guess. But Camille, yeah. you did awesome. Way to go on that. OK, let me ask you a question, though. If we waited another minute, do you think this egg would start to float? No. No way. What if we waited an hour? Mm, nope. How about a day? Nope. You're right. It wouldn't start floating on its own no matter how long we waited. That's because when things sink, they stay sunk. And when people die, they stay dead. But Jesus proved that he had power over death. And you know what? I think there's still hope for this egg, too. Huh. Nothing's happening. You must be out of snapping juice. No worries. There we go. All better. I've now transferred the egg to a smaller container of water. Nice job. Now, imagine for a second that this egg is Jesus lying dead in this tomb. Even though Jesus said he would come back to life after three days, his followers still couldn't believe it. That's right. But Jesus has power over everything. Here, let me show you what I mean. Imagine this salt is Jesus's power. Watch what happens when I add the salt, stir it up, and we'll give it a little time. that. Do you see what's happening? The egg has risen. In the same way that the salt is causing the egg to rise in the water, Jesus's power caused him to rise from the dead. Isn't that spectacular? Jesus even has power over death. You're right. And not just his death, but our death too. It's true. In fact, that's what our Bible verse for today tells us. Earlier in the Bible, when Jesus was talking to his friend Martha, he said, I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will live, even if he dies. John 11, 25. Hey, you know what? That verse is kind of tricky to understand. What do you think Jesus meant when he said, anyone who believes in me will live, even if he dies? How can someone live if they've already died? What do you think? Press pause. And discuss. If you believe that Jesus died for your sins and rose again, then you can have life with Jesus in heaven even after you die. Jesus defeated death, and he gives those who follow him victory over death, too. Right on. When we celebrate Easter, we celebrate that nothing is too powerful for Jesus. Not sin, not the devil, not even death. Isn't that amazing? It is amazing. And that's why Jesus is worthy of our worship. In fact, that's what we're going to do right now. Yeah, we're going to end things a little differently this time. For the next minute, let's all imagine and pray. Here's how it's going to work. Close your eyes with us. Now, for a short time, imagine what it looked like when Jesus' body was being laid in the tomb. 
And while you imagine that, silently ask Jesus to forgive you for your sins. Now keep your eyes closed. Imagine the stone being rolled away and seeing an empty tomb. While you imagine that, silently thank Jesus for his power over death. Finally, imagine yourself kneeling at the feet of Jesus like the two Marys did. While you imagine that, silently tell Jesus how much you love him. You can open your eyes now. What happened on Easter was a miracle. Jesus was dead, but then he rose again. That's right. Jesus defeated death. And because of that, when you love and follow Jesus, he takes your sins away so you can live with him forever in heaven. And that is the great news of Easter. It sure is. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining us for this very special JTS episode. Yeah, we had a ton of fun, and we hope you did too. We'll see you again next week. But in the meantime, happy Easter! Easter! Bye. Bye, everybody. And one more sink or float. Buddy Bot, I think he'll sink. Oh no, David, no, don't hurt Buddy Bot. Thanks, Camille, you saved my circuits.